Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make the Caribou Lou. Now, if you're wondering why the name of this cocktail sounds familiar, it's because it's based on a song by Tech 9 from 2006 and the Ever Ready album. Having said that, the cocktail itself wasn't created in 2006. It was actually created in 1995 at a party by Tech 9 whose actual name is Aaron Yates. And many people have said that the drink looks a little bit girly, as a lot of tropical drinks do. However, a few of these will just drop you on your butt. Now, in the 2006 song, Tech 9 goes on to say, 151 rum, pineapple juice, and Malibu will make them numb. Now, from that, you kind of say, okay, there's three ingredients, and so it. However, he later goes on to say, half a bottle of 151 in a jug, one cup of Malibu, and then fill the rest with pineapple juice. That's a pretty strong uh, jug of uh, <clears throat> alcoholic juice there. Now, having said that as well, there's actually now a sort of formalized cocktail for it, which is what we're going to make. So it's not as strong. However, if you wanna make that, I'll actually put that ingredients down there. And I'm going to put the ingredients list from the uh, cocktail that we're going to make at the end of the video in a recipe card, as I always do. Now we're going to start with our booze. In this case, we're using some 151. I'm using Lemon Heart. And you'll see in a few places online that some people say that you can't get very much uh, 151 now because it's way too flammable and blah, blah, blah. However, I found it no problem. We're going to use one ounce or 30 milliliters. And for those of you that are not familiar with 151, that is 151 proof, meaning it is 75.5% ABV or alcohol by volume. So it packs one heck of a punch. Now your next ingredient is a coconut rum and he called for Malibu. Uh, some people will say that Malibu is no good, but you know what? Use what you can use, get what you can get and enjoy it. Uh, the one thing is if you use a different version of a coconut rum, you're going to have a higher ABV, so you need to be careful because you don't want to make this so alcohol heavy that it really does kick you on your butt after one drink. Now, of course, unless you like being knocked on your butt. Once you've knocked these two ingredients in there, your next ingredient is pineapple juice. And I'm using a fresh pressed or pure pressed pineapple juice, meaning there's no sugar added. Um, he may, uh, Aaron or Tech9, may not have actually used this style of pineapple juice. He doesn't say. However, uh, we're going to actually double the amount of booze that's in here. So we're going to use a total of four ounces, which is 120 milliliters. Now, so far, this actually looks darker than anything you're going to find online. And that's for two reasons. The first reason is it's totally based on the rum that I have. And that's actually only one reason. And that reason is many of those other versions used Bacardi 151, which is lighter in color. The Lemon Heart is a dark rum, as you can tell by the fact that it's dark. So it's gonna turn out the way it's gonna turn out. And I can already tell it's going to be an interesting cocktail. But this is a shaken cocktail. So what you wanna do is fill this glass all the way up to the top with some ice and make sure you get a really good seal. And the reason I say that, because you're gonna give it a flip and you're gonna shake it with a smile. All right, and what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you shake it till you get a good frosting. Now, every recipe I've seen does not bother to say exactly how long you need to shake this for. However, one of the things to be aware of, depending on the size of the glass that you're using, pineapple juice has a tendency to foam, so you're going to actually get more of what you expect. So leave a little bit of space. Now I am using a rocks, a double rocks glass that's 12 ounces or 360 mils. You could use it in something else. But the recipes say, you know, over fresh ice. So I'll just throw three cubes in there to allow for some space. Your Hawthorne strainer and just pour it in. Now you are going to get a little bit of separation. <laughs> that looks fantastic. And sometimes you'll see that the cocktail is actually uh, garnished with some pineapple and stuff. But you know what? It's after work and I just want an easy drink. Mm, that's good. Mm. But it's strong. You can taste the 151. The pineapple uh, juice is right there. 
and you can get very, very slight hints of the coconut, but you can tell that there's 151 in there. You drink a few of these, yeah, you're gonna be on your butt. Now, if you like cocktails inspired by music, take a look after the recipe card right up here.